Who should be heard? Ain't no battle today? So it's ain't got no battle going on? Both my husband and I, have, we have family history of cancer. I was never really afraid for my health. I'm sorry, I didn't having... see that on video. Hmm? Both my Tell husband what? and I, have, we have family history of cancer. Live on YouTube. YouTube's good. What up? No. What's going on? People, what up, what up? We're about to get it going. This is gonna be epic. Extremely, extremely epic. First and foremost, shout out to all the EYL University members in here. What up, what up? Uh, man, shout out to uh, my guy Ian Dunlap. He's about to come in in a minute. He about to get popping. Yeah. How y'all doing? What up? What up? What up? Let's, let's turn your volume up. Hold on. Oh, got the oh you got the on. suit on for us today? Got the suit on. <laughs> <laughs> With the blue tie. Not playing no game. Yeah, we good. What's going on, brother? Good, man. How you feeling? Can't complain, man. Can't complain. How's everything on your end? I can't complain, man. I'm try trying to stay safe and away from the corona. That's all. That's it, man. This, this corona thing is uh, it's getting weirder and weirder by the day. Yeah, it is. Much deeper than what they're talking about. Yeah, the Navy ships have arrived here in New York. The Jacob Javis Center is now a makeshift hospital. It is um, crazy. We're living in the movie. This is different times. Yeah, that's what it feels like. That's what it feels yeah. like. So, but yeah, man. First and foremost, just wanted to to thank you. We about to get it going in a minute. Um, but before we start, uh, we gotta talk about yeah. Just I want to just like take a minute to talk about like the global economy because everything is all tied together, right? Yeah. So, the stock market. We gotta talk about the stocks, obviously. Yeah. But um, this is really a trickle down effect if there ever was one, right? Yeah. So what's your what's your thought on how this can play out for the average American, average person all over the world as far as like the global economic effects of this thing? For the black households, it could be depression part two. Like mm. somebody put like, unless they, I mean, they may need nine trillion and a cure now. Cause if the restaurants don't come back up, hotels get affected. I talked to a guy who runs conventions. He doesn't know when that's gonna go back up. Travel, summer vacation plans are thrown off. Uh, this is, we're pretty much on lockdown. Pretty much on lockdown. So yeah, there, there were some reports uh, today in a Wall Street Journal that they are already working on the next stimulus <laughs> before this one even comes out. Yeah. It's that real. And it's, and it's crazy you say that because it's like um, Trump, President Trump. So he first he said uh, the pre the country is going to be open for Easter, and then he said, um, "Well, maybe July or August." So it's not looking too good, man. Like looking said, good, man. That, that stimulus is not enough. Two trillion dollars. Um, Nancy Pelosi said that's just, that's just a down payment. Two trillion dollars is just a down payment. Like they're going to need, they might need seven trillion. I mean, we talked about seven last time, so that's, yeah. that number is insane to even think about because it's like monopoly money at this point, but. In order, and we haven't done like, we just need to do a nationwide lockdown. Nobody leaves for five or six weeks and hopefully it'll blow over. But I know in, they locked down a border between Texas and Louisiana now, but they need to yeah, move faster. I, I, I think I just read the governor of Virginia is locking down uh, till, till June or something like that, man. It's, 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 uh, 
Yeah. I, when I was that, on Twitter, I, I saw the number of cases were at 350,000. We were at 110 yesterday. Yeah, I was just showing Shadi um, on, on Political. They have an article where it shows you how many uh, cases are being found every second. Like every five seconds, we get a new case in this country. That's it's crazy. crazy. The, the double rate is now every four days. So like we had 19,000 today. Tomorrow, we're going to be at 38. Soon, we're going to be, I mean, these numbers, we're going into millions. Yeah, exponential growth. That's insane. Yeah, and it's, I mean, the way they're talking about it, especially the president, it's kind of lighthearted. Like, yo, uh, two million people going to get it, at least 200,000 people are going to die. I'm like, wait, and then we'll go back to normal? Like, how? how is that even logical? Like, how do you go back to normal after one person dies? You know what I'm saying? Like, this, yeah, we true. can't go back to normal. This is, this. these things, the normal's gone. We have to define the new norm. That's true. That's very true. It's a scary thing because we've never seen anything like this before. And it's going to take us a few years to recover from it. Yeah. So, all right. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to do this a little different um, than we've ever done before, where this is going to be our most interactive live episode, whatever you want to call it ever, because it's going to be the majority of it is going to be question and answers. Cause it's like, we've talked a lot yeah. um, about different strategies and different things, but more important than, you talking, me talking, Troy talking is the actual public talking, right? And the people, this is what Ernie Alicia is built for. It's yeah. for, for the people, by the people. <laughs> so um, we want to give you guys an opportunity to actually speak. And um, we want to talk about some exciting news. First, I want to talk about some exciting news and we're going we're gonna to reel back on it later on. But um, we were talking and, um, you know, I was going back and forth with you for, for a while. And um, I know you have a couple of packages that, you know, people can purchase to, to do stocks in. The price points might be a little high, so I, I know we are, we're going to announce this breaking news before we even answer any questions. Breaking news alert. Yeah, you got you, you got a special announcement that you're rolling out for, for us, right? Yeah, so my, yeah, yeah, my, most of my packages are super pricey. So one is 40000 one is 21000 Most people can't do that. So I'm like, instead of trying to teach people how to invest, why not just bundle up everything that they need in one, what to invest in long term, where to get in, where to get out, and give it for an affordable price. If you guys look on my site, it's one twenty nine a month, so I figured I should just do everything in one year for one low price of two ninety seven for the year, for the entire year. Yeah. I mean, people are hurting and people need help. Like I'm getting calls, texts, tweets every day. What do you think about Boeing? What do you think about Delta? What do you think about this pharma company? I'm like, why don't we just build a community and we can hop on? Once a month, I'll tell you where to get in, where, like how we did two weeks ago on the training, and that just was guide you through. And then that way it takes all the pressure. Because if you guys booked a consult with me, it'd be a thousand an hour. So I'm like, let me just give back because I never forgot where I came from. Nobody went, came to my mom's house and told me this in 2007, 2008. And in the last recession, gas was sky high. So now <laughs> gas is at bottom prices and we can't go anywhere. It's so this, is, this is pretty much you tell people which stocks to potentially That's buy? Right. Yes. Where to, what, what price point to buy it at, and what price point to sell it at? Yes. Yeah. Every and these are all long-term picks. So these are quality companies that you guys should hold for five years because you have to learn how to get money over a lifetime. Not like a quick flip, but you want to start to build that generational wealth. But the hard part is like people don't know, so it's easier for me to just guide and say, "Hey, like today, Microsoft went up through the roof because their cloud services are booming." So while everyone else mm -hmm. is like, I don't know where the market is going to go, Apple, Google, Microsoft, killing. Zoom, Amazon. Amazon, it's like, it's second nature to us, but I'd rather just give you and tell you the exact price to get in. Boeing still is doing well. Like people were complaining and thinking that Boeing was going to go out of business. I'm like, they are the supplier. They aren't going no, to. They, they, they make parts for the government. Exactly. Yes. Can't do that. Not that was one of the we had dropped, um, I think like one of our early episodes, like people know Amazon from a supply and retail space, but when we look at their business model, 60% of their revenue comes from cloud service. Like most yeah. people don't know that. So like right, right now, when people are at home and saving it, they, they're, they're gonna make a killing. They're making a killing right now. Money. Yep. They can, right, that's why they can hire 100,000 employees in this, in this type of climate. Jim Cramer was just talking about, um, it's funny, cause I was watching CNBC right before I came to Troy's house and, um, Jim Cramer was talking about Microsoft. This is Microsoft's moment. And yeah. it's, it's funny because on the podcast, that's one of your, he was like, buy Microsoft and buy um, yeah. Apple. Yep. Yeah. 
long, long term, like those are your plays long term. So it's it's crazy that Microsoft is like going off right now. And um, I always yeah. say Microsoft is, is like LeBron. It's underappreciated, incredibly talented, but everyone is like so over it because they've been good for so long. They sleep on it. Still chugging along good. Still chugging along good. So, all right, and then, yeah, so the link is in our bio. We're going to talk about this later, but the link is in our bio because some people said, like, where to sign up for it, and it's on your website as well, right? Yeah, and I also, for those of you that are, uh, no, it's not on my site. It's exclusively through you guys. Okay, then, okay. Yeah, so the information yeah, is in the description. I'll put it there, too. The information, the, the, the link for this um, is in the description of this YouTube. Um, so I, I want to go to questions, but I got a question myself. Mm -hmm. So oil oils at an all, like, not all time, 18-year low right now. Yep. It's, under twenty dollars, like they said, like you could buy a keg of beer in Canada costs more than oil right now. So, yeah. is it a good time to invest in oil? If I wanted to invest in oil, how do I go about doing that? Um, like, what's your thoughts on that? Because it's so low right now, it's crazy. I think oil could go to two seventy five. It's crazy as they may say. Um, two seventy five. Two dollars seventy five cents. Could. could if they because this is a government issue. So going back to. Forex. So when Soros made that currency play, that was a banking war, financial war play. Same thing here with oil. Unless they start to balance out the powers that be, come to an agreement, the value is going to drop. But if you look at USO, if you guys look at since inception, oil has been dropping since 2007, 2008. It has slowly been declining. That's why I tell you guys to go to a longer time frame chart first before you start to trade. They've been sliding down ever since then. So you can buy That's USO. Maybe at four dollars flat, three dollars flat. If you hold it for five years, six years, it'll go back up. But you may want to if you exit at twelve fifty, you can get a great return. But um, it's that low. It's going to take you a while to get there, though. It's going to take a while to get there. Yeah. So for people people that that listen, I know um, our Zoom people. The reason why we're looking at prices at an eighteen year low is because if you look at one thing affects another, right? If you stop travel, that means people don't have to drive. Then we're not getting gas. If we stop travel, that means the planes don't need fuel. So we're not flying, right? So that that becomes, there's more supply than there is a demand, which drops down the price. Which if we don't know, like if, like you said, they're locking down borders, right? Yeah. There's gonna be even less people driving, which means Probably. that's why the price gets driven down to maybe you said 275, that's crazy. I, I, I had a, a call with my man Jamal. I was like, look, man, these prices are dropping. New York still got this gas over $3 though. <laughs> so, <That's crazy>. oh, <laughs> Soon enough, man, we'll get back to those high school days when we could pay like a 99 cent per gallon. I that would think. be incredible if we could go anywhere. Yeah, and then we'll, we'll just sit in our cars. And, and but the, so from my understanding, I guess Chevron has the strongest balance sheet out of the yes. oil companies, but yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good time to invest. Because like you said, I mean, it could potentially go lower and oil, this thing might not get better anytime soon. It's going to take a little bit of time. Like, it's interesting. We're at the 100 year mark of the Great Depression. Some history does repeat itself. We didn't see a pandemic like this coming. I mean, we've seen it in movies and Netflix and Resident Evil and Walking Dead, but we never thought it would come true. We're kind of here now. So, if you guys are looking at the long term horizon, 10 years, 15 years from now, if you take advantage of it, you'll be good. And I'll tell you, you guys should go Google how investors in the 1920s and 30s got rich. Things are at bottom prices like now, they held for 10, 15 years. Our community doesn't want to hold. And that's the part of the issue that we're really trying to fix. Because you can flip money, but also hold for a long-term horizon. It's not one or the other. You should do both. Yeah. One of the things, uh, the, the market was up like 600 points today. They said that healthcare sectors um, help raise the market today. A lot of healthcare stocks are going up. I want to talk, can we talk about two of them? Because right. a lot of people are not realizing like, once somebody finds the test, right, mm -hmm. that stock is going to rise. And obviously the person that finds the vaccine for this, this pandemic that is taking over the world. So Abbott Labs up 13%. They have come up with the five-minute test. Can yes. Can you the light on that a little bit? Um, so they're going to have a five-minute corona test. And of course, I mean, we need to get more understanding about who's infected and who isn't. That shot them up like crazy. That's a good sign. And of course, I'm sure the other one, Johnson & Johnson. Yeah. They shot up a lot. So whoever comes out with the vaccine first, they are going to do well. So I thought it was going to be GSK or Sanofi, but it ended up being J&J. &J. Yeah, um, the, yeah. the interesting thing about that is that they said that Johnson & Johnson is the leading candidate to come up with the vaccine. They're going to be testing for it in September. Yeah. Like, think, like, think about the time frame. We, yeah. We're in 
like tomorrow the first quarter officially ends for this year, but we're talking about testing by September. Yeah. That means it's trials for the next four or five months, man. Yeah. That exactly. should tell that should tell the public something. You have to have enough data and to be able to roll out a product like that that the FDA will approve. Now they're trying to speed everything up, but we have to be patient and realize this is a lot more serious than we initially thought. Like I've always said, like no flu is spread worldwide. This is much deeper than what meets the eye. This is probably one of the biggest health crises we'll face in, in probably 20, 30 years. So let's go to, let's go to Zoom. Let's go to Zoom. We're going to go to EYL University members. Um, got any questions? Got any pending questions? On uh, so Dwight, what's going on Dwight? Uh, and, and Zoom, if you have questions, feel yeah, free to raise your video. hand. Do a video. Zoom, do a video if you can. Yeah, raise your hand. We want to hear you uh, yeah. rather than just read it's it. Easier, it's easier for us to answer those questions if you actually um, say it via video. It says for Apex One program, will the monthly stock fix be a part of that as well? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look out for you. I'll take care of my people. All right. Well, Dwight, how you doing? No, nah, he's not. He, he didn't raise his hand. Yet. Yeah. So when when you raise your hand, then I'll come to you, and uh, we'll give you the, the floor to speak, ask your questions, ask Ian anything you'd like, and um, yeah, just shoot away, y'all. Apple isn't going anywhere. Microsoft isn't going anywhere. Google, Amazon, the players that are dominant in the league remain dominant. It's the same thing as stocks. Same thing. There's gonna be a couple players that break out in the pharma space. And whoever gets um, approval for the vaccine, they're gonna, gonna be able to make a killing off of them as well. All right, we're coming to AOOG. I'm coming to you. You got the floor, my man. I'll mute you. Our uh, brother, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. I had a quick question. Um, so last week I got into Boeing at 102. Okay. I picked up two shares. Okay. Um, I'm looking to get some more positions. I want a um, dollar cost average, but I didn't know how to go about finding an entry point while while I'm like scoping Boeing out for this week. So, like, how do you go about like picking when to go add more positions to a stock when you when I got in so low? Um, do you believe that they will go? Much higher, do you think they'll get back to the all-time highs? Uh, yeah, in the next, I believe, seven to eight years. Yeah, well, you just have to buy every month. I mean, because if you try and time, you may not get back to 97. You may not have the same entry that Rashad had at 95. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, if you would have bought it on the day that we were talking about it, you could have switched it up that Monday. Um, but if it gets to 110, 115, just can, it's the, this is the thing I need you guys to remember the number of shares that you have. Like, so we all want to say, I got it at $93 and 20 cents so we can brag, but you need two, three, four, 500 shares. So if you get it at 110, 120, 105, you'll be good. In five years, you won't care what price you got in. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. And uh, he probably actually did get it on Monday. He just got a little bit later. I, a little bit I, later. I, I got it at 9 30 in the morning. I got it at 9 30. You got it right now. away. <laughs> Open the <laughs> bell. Yeah. 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 All right, Ian, I, I, I got something. Um, so this, this is a big week for the market. Um, obviously, the first quarter ends tomorrow officially. Yeah. Can you talk yeah. about what impact uh, these quarterly reports are going to have on this week, you think? I mean, if, if the revenue numbers are terrible, we're going to slide. The thing that I'm worried about is the jobs report. Um, I don't have any like inside data, but if the previous jobs report was $3 million, we have to probably be at minimum $5 million now. I'm expecting five point seven. Um, oh, job, the jobless claims? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm surprised that we spiked up so much, but funds had to report, so we shot up. It was crazy. And I was even on my, my live trading call, and I was like, how the hell are we going up? And with 3 million people are, are claiming to be out of work. But I think this next job report is going to push us down a little bit. Um, but solid companies with cash on hand are going to do well. Um, but these earnings reports are going to be very interesting, especially for, like, retail any restaurant categories, any low end businesses, they they are not going to be good. They're not because they basically went a month and a half without any consistent revenue. And no time on when they're actually going to act 
have revenue coming back in. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Yeah, I think a lot of economists, I've seen a, a, a couple of numbers thrown out. Three million right now, that's only in two weeks of, of this pandemic. Yeah. By eight weeks, they think maybe 10 million people will be uh, filing for unemployment. 10 million people. Oh, let, me, let me just answer this question. So people saying the, the link to the stock club, stock club is in the description of this YouTube video. That's in the description of the YouTube video. That's the link to the stock club. Um, so you can do that now. You can wait till the, the video is over, but the link in the description of this YouTube video is where the stock club link is. And somebody asked where the Zoom number, the Zoom is reserved for EYL University members. That's one of the perks of being an EYL University member. You get the video chat. And EYL University members actually get first dibs on answering questions, even though it's open to the public. So. If anybody's interested in joining EYLU, we got, we got a special running for that as well, 149 for the entire year. So that's code EYL149. Um, but let's get back to some questions. So yeah. we got a question? We got Daniel Allen. Daniel, what's going on? Daniel's been on, on a lot of uh, our calls. Daniel said, what do you look for when researching companies? I look, first thing I'm looking for is that 10-year month chart to see if they've been going up. I don't look at PE ratio. I don't look at cash on hand because like, you can get so deep into the fundamentals and the company can be actually terrible. The only thing that really matters are our funds buying it, our fund of funds buying it, and then our retail traders following it and buying it as well. So if you pull up a 10 year chart, you should be able to look in one second and see is it going up this way or is it sliding down? Very simple. But people can spin you with all the looking at reports and income statements and all that. A lot of, because some companies may have a great balance sheet and may have terrible management. All great companies have great management and then cash on hand. MG, the mortgage guy just stepped in the building. Matt, appreciate the, the uh, what is that called again? The super chat. Super chat. Appreciate it, Matt. Thank you, brother. MG, the mortgage guy, the legend himself. Matt, how you doing? We got to talk soon, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get in contact with. Good Lord. All right, so we'll take, we'll take one question from YouTube. Somebody says, I have $2,000 to invest in stocks. Which stock should I focus on? Index funds first. Index funds first. Safe. No one wants safe and steady. Listen, Tim Duncan got five rings. Uh, it's a lot of players who was a lot flashier. Let's go back super old school. Jason Williams, white chocolate. Got done. <laughs> Man, rock with rock with the big fundamental. Get you a ring. Big fundamental. Index funds first. Uh, and then go, uh, go tech Microsoft, Apple, Google, and you'll be good. Is it? We're going to go to Zoom, but one question from YouTube. Um, is it too high to get in Zoom right now? Um, yeah, I'm gonna give a, um, I'm not gonna do a hot take, but yeah. Wait until, well, if you join a stock club exclusively to earn your leisure, I'll tell you the exact price where you should get in the Zoom. Yeah, Zoom yeah, will slide yeah. down some. He's no joke when it comes to these numbers, man. Like it's, he'll know, he'll hear the number and his head is already calculated. What's the price you should get it at, man? I would, we did that on the first live. I was like, yo, this, this dude was like, boy, wonder what it <laughs> if you got, And if you guys go back and look, you can see which ones went up, which ones continue to like. Ford became a junk company after that. Um, you know, so it's, it's rinse and repeat. And then when you guys join, I'll show you my exact process for how I do that on a long-term chart. Jake Thomas, what's up, my brother? Nice, nice. Jamal, yours. Hey, Ian, what's going on? It's Jamal, man. My guy, how you doing? <clears throat> hey, listen, I wanted to ask you from your, from your perspective, just based off of, do you feel like now that liquidity has come back into the market that we've hit a bottom? Or based off of, like, again, the, the new employment numbers are going to come out this week, again, on a weekly basis. Can we, can we go below 20? Again, I, I'm not looking for you to time the market, but just looking for your perspective. Yeah, we could. If the job numbers are terrible, we could slide back down. Quality companies. Quality companies. Quality companies. Uh, quality companies are going to be fine. We're going to slide back a little bit because if other companies are not able to produce revenue, it's going to be survival of the fittest. And a lot of companies are going to hit like recession and depression like lows. Um, so it depends really on what companies you're looking for i know for sure the indexes will not go out of business because if companies start to underperform they'll kick them out of the dow that's why i always lean on indexes first 
Now, Boeing, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Tesla, uh, AMD, Starbucks, they'll be fine. The powerhouses, not, not ones like IBIO, won't do too well. They, they won't be able to survive if the economy does not get back to normal. We haven't seen anything like this in the modern era in almost forever. Uh, we haven't, and that's why we're doing so much YouTube lives and stuff like that, because it's like, this is real-time information that we really got to get to the people, because yeah, people. it's so changing. It's changing so so drastically, but shout-out to AM1 uh, for the $5 super chat. Appreciate you. He had a question. He said, can we rely on charts despite the current variables? All charts do is measure price. That's all they do. There's nothing magical about them. So if I if I say, hey, I got this kid from Akron here in high school. He scores 29 points a game, gets 10 rebounds, and you're a GM of a team. Do you want him or not? It'd be a good bet. It'd be a good bet. It's no different. Apple, even with all the, the turbulence we've had, the quality companies have remained steady. All you are managing is price. That's it. It's nothing magical, nothing mystical. You don't need the Japanese charts. You don't need to meditate before you invest. Quality companies are going to do good. Yeah, we got somebody here asking, uh, what's your thoughts on precious metals in this summer? Um, they're good to as a hedge, for sure. Gold is good to hedge. Silver, maybe platinum, but... You should have a balanced portfolio anyway, especially if you're older. You got to have some bonds and some precious metals in there. But gold is not going to go to the highs that people think that it is. And then as far as like holding physical bars, no. It's, no. The government doesn't even do it anymore. So no. All right, I'm, I'm going to combine two questions because I see it's kind of a repeat theme. People are asking, is, should they hold on to cruise stocks or dump them right now? And B, should they hold on to hotel stocks or dump them right now? And it all the, well, ask me specifically which crude stock you guys are in. And then I'll tell you whether you should, if you got in that USO at 15 or 20 and it's at four, you should probably get rid of it because it's weighing your portfolio down. It's one important thing as an investor. You have to learn when to cut your losses. Mm. You cannot have 15, 16% losses on your portfolio. Because if you have a 10 at what point, you're under. I was going to this is, this is kind of like a general question, but is there a set thing where it's like, all right, 20%, I cut my losses. Like, do you, do you have a set thing or is it just kind of company by company? You have to cut it off max 15. 15? Now you, I mean, <laughs> people didn't agree and look where we are now. And now we get into the space of like hopium where it's like, well, I know we're going to bounce up, but it's like, you're down 40%. So if you had a hundred grand, and somebody took 15, are you going to keep the rest of the money in the house and let them come back and rob you? Everybody from the hood is like, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. Then we get in the market and it's like, you would draw down 50%. And I know there's that quote from Munger, Buffett's partner, that if you're not willing to draw down 50%, you shouldn't be investing. And I'm like, but y'all got billions of dollars. I don't want to draw down on two, three hundred thousand dollars because it may take five or eight years for it to go back up. So Play defense. You need to invest how Mayweather fights. Like 15%, cut it off, let it go. And we've been here before. You Bitcoin. Bitcoin went from 17,000 down to six and then three and then back up. No, people are still hoping for Bitcoin to go back up to them highs when you should have just cut your loss. Same thing. Here. How, how important, how important, this is like a, a pretty general question. How important is it not to fall in love with a, with a stock? People have emotional attachments to investments, like they're like cars or something like that. And it's like, you said, you yeah. I tell people when I say something is trash, like so GE, Ford, Forex, cannabis stocks, et cetera, I'm not on the board of any of them. So if Tim Cook leaves and Apple becomes a piece of shit, I'll say it and I'll go to the next thing. Whether it's Blackberry, Nokia, or something, you have to do like invest like LeBron. Who's ever hot, LeBron's going to team up with him so he can get a ring. Do the same thing. When D Wade wasn't D Wade anymore, he left. When him and Kyrie fell out, he left. He went to AD. And then he may play two more years and go play with Zion. It's a smart investment strategy. Whatever is hot, this is when y'all can cloud chase and go to the hottest thing and you'll be good. Yeah. And uh, somebody said, and just quick, so for anybody that joined, so once again, we got to thank you because you're doing a special. Um, run for EYL University member. Well, EYL 
people just in yeah. general. Every uh, earner, really. Yeah, all I earn is where your stock club, you're dropping the price in at 80% to 297, yes. 297 for the entire year. For the year. That, you, you tell people like which stocks pretty much mm -hmm. to buy, the price point to buy them at and the price point to sell them at. Yeah, right? I, see, I see a lot of people asking those questions in the chat. So that's what we're offering right now. Yeah. 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 And then that. if you have a question, we'll hop on monthly and we'll do the same thing live. Won't be any upsells. It would be just how it was, how on that Saturday when we did the training, we're going deep. And I'm like, this one is good. This one is bad. Leave this one alone. Cut it. Because here's the thing. And I always ask this. Did your advisor call you when the market was falling apart? Answers, no. They don't care. They didn't send you a text, email, smoke signal, nothing what was coming. So I'll be able to help you and guide you through. And 297 is nothing like Come on, come no, on. If it's not, if, if, if that's, it's, it's just not for you. Right? That's, okay. that's okay. Yeah. And the, yeah, and the, and the link is in the description of this video. Can we take a Zoom? Um, is any? Can we get a Zoom call? Uh, once again, shout out to all the EYL University members. Those are the people that saw on Zoom, uh, and they kind of get the first right of questions. Somebody asked, uh, "What's your favorite uh, Vanguard index fund?" V O O. V O O. And the only reason I like Vanguard is because their fees are the lowest. If somebody comes out with a lower fee structure, I'll go to them. So, or if somebody is like, hey, we'll go negative and pay you to have this index, I'll go to them. But, but V O O is one, but it's a bunch of them. V Finks. Um, there's a whole bunch of like indexes that, that you can have, but V O O is my hands down my absolute favorite. Um, what's, 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 so. The S&P 500 index, would you, that's, would you recommend somebody invest in that? If they're looking like just, all right, I want to start investing indexes. They have to start there because that's an all-star team. Even if you can't coach, you have some all-stars on your team, you'll be able to win. And then the issue is like when people pick an individual stock, they're trying to also chase a high to say, well, I bought this at this and it went up to this price because they also want an emotional value to say that I am smart enough to do that. When your only focus should be the game, no ego. Like, especially in our community, we want to like brag and also be seen and felt to be worthy and to be intelligent. And it's like, just get the game. But that's the only thing you need to do is get the game and not treat it like gambling. Sometimes we want to buy a penny stock at two bucks and hope that it'll go up to 18 so we can brag about it, opposed to getting something that'll print 8%, 9% growth um, consistently. And then also if the market crashes, there's three stocks I'll tell you guys to buy that'll take off like a rocket. I recommended one three, four weeks ago, a couple of my students were up like 40, 50%, like just off that stock alone. So something is always up. The entire market will not be flat or down. What was your thoughts on, on Chinese companies? I know that they are now um, out of their quarantine. They're, they're starting to get back to a sort of normalcy over there. Um, too early to, to, to try to think of investing in those companies or should we just keep a close eye for the next few months? Yeah, I keep a close eye. Alibaba is one that I like, but then I'll start to like look at individual companies and it's the same thing. Like if they have a bunch of cash on hand and if they have a stronghold on the market, they're top two in that sector, I'll look. But um, exotics are good, but I mean, you really only need a few to break out. And I, I don't want to gamble with that right now. I want to wait like one or two months to see how that plays out and see if their economy starts rolling, then we can take advantage of it. All right. We got we got a video. We got a, a Zoom a Zoom call. Donna, what's up? It's the phone line is yours. What's going on? Donna, how are you? She there? Donna, what's up? You there? Donna, you there? Don't be shy. <laughs> Maybe she stepped away for a minute. Let's mute her. I'm muted. Let's mute her. Uh, people, so I, I asked the, the, the Chinese stock because a lot of people in the, in the comments asking about Luke and Coffee, which is one of the stocks that I'm watching closely. Um, obviously, watching Starbucks. It's, it it's a good company. I'll I'll be sure that that's one of the first ones we're gonna cover on our Saturday call. Which price to get in at? It's that's super hot right now. Looking right. Yep. Yeah, I, I like what they're about, man. Taking up smaller spaces and taking go uh, approach, man. So if yep. nobody's up on them, um, 
I can give them the ticket because I actually follow them and, and invested. LK is the, is the symbol. Definitely something to look into. Um, it's on my watch list. I'll say that. Watch list. Yep, it's on the watch like list. Okay, now I feel better. That's, that's, that's the coffee company. <laughs> that's right? the coffee company. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. We got a lot of people invested in them too. A lot of a lot of entertainers invested in them. Um, I think they caught wind of it, and um, I think there's a few like I think Jay Z's invested in the coffee name, company. Name the coffee again. Lucan Coffee. LK is the symbol. LK. Yep. Put it on your watch list. It's on mine. It's on Ian's. I know Jamal sitting there like, yo, I try to say that. That's on his watch list too. Yeah, now shout out to Jamal too because he, um, you know, he gave me a lot of good. He gave me some some good tips too. Um, I brought uh, American Express. I brought American Express. I'm up about thirty percent on, on American Express right now. And uh, like companies like that, when you see a company like American Express down fifty four percent, it's kind yeah. of a no brainer, right? Yes. Like it's American Express, right? Yeah. Um, Visa, Mastercard, like Visa. You, 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 you know, it's, it's kind good. Of no yeah. yeah, yeah. I posted this weekend. I'm like, you can make your own little credit card index fund and buy Visa and American Express, and you'll be good. You'll be good. Those are two that are not gonna go away. And, uh, credit card companies are gold, especially the big boys like Absolutely. Visa, Mastercard, American. and especially if you can see them at deep discounts. I mean, they're up now because the market is up now. Yeah. Do you think this market, this 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 bull run that we have right now, is gonna last or? We're going to have a pullback. It's going to be another buying opportunity because it's not until we have a plan to sustain the health of Americans will our market start to go up and then consistently push the all-time highs. If we get there by maybe fall, like we need to get the, the number of cases down first. Super hard quarantine. I'm telling everybody, please stay in the house. The economy will recover. And then once they lay out a health plan, unfortunately, they're probably going to mandate the vaccine on everyone. Mm -hmm. um, but for some pharma companies, it's going to be a hell of a boom and revenue for them. And you'll be able to take advantage of that. And then the economy will go back up. So probably end of the year, maybe October, November, December, we'll start to hit some all-time highs. Uh, I got a Zoom question from Michael McDonald. What's up, Mike? Uh, is it too late to purchase the Abbott stock that has the five-minute test result for coronavirus? It's, it's not too late. It's high. You never want to buy on the hype of the news on the first day. Because it's too high of a price, wait for it to slide back. Um, Mike hit me up. I'll tell you the exact price, though. I'll tell you. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> somebody, somebody, somebody just DM me. Hold on. See, this is why I love this. This uh, YouTube thing is really, really lit. Somebody says I'm in Zoom chat and I'm offering to pay two people who are EYL University. You join in, pick. Tell me how to get the money. This is anonymous. I appreciate that. So they're gonna pick two people for your program. And um, I'll, I'll I'll DM that. So the person that just DM me, will after this is over, I'll DM you, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. So they're gonna sponsor two people for the stock um, club. That's amazing. Kudos so, to you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they keep asking me about Teladoc. Like at least six or seven times, Teladoc has come up. You want to talk about that a little bit? Give me the ticker. I'll look at it. Uh, oh, before I, I want to answer this question, somebody said, Should we take our money out of our 401k? Uh oh, but I started yeah. two years ago. No, oh, not take your oh, money no. out of a 401k account. No, 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 no. right? Because you'll never start. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like dropping out of school. Everybody said that they'll go back and then they don't. You don't want to have that money on the sideline. Like, we, we went from bottoms and now we're got back to the 50% retracement. We were at the 23.6. Like, We've had, if you tried to time the last two days, you wouldn't have been able to. We've had some great, like the gains will be erased in probably eight, well, the losses be erased in about eight months. You'll be good. You'll be good. Hold long term, long term. Yeah, Sometimes like, like, like people will put money into a, a bad relationship and won't snatch that money out, but then want to keep, take the money out of a 401k. Trust me, like your 401k would be good in, in four or five years. Stop treating your retirement account like you're day trading, right? Like it's not like it's not gambling. It's like, oh, take me out the market, put me back in the market, cash yeah. me out, give me. A, I want to like no, it's it's for your retirement. Hopefully, you don't have to use it for 20, 30 years. Even though this is some free jewelry for people out there, I just found this out mm -hmm. that um part of that stimulus package that was passed. There's a whole bunch of different laws and bills in there. So yeah. one of the things that they passed to the, um in that bill is that if you are affected by the coronavirus financially, which is kind of a broad thing, but if you lost your job or you can kind of prove that you're affected by it, 
you can take money out of form out of a retirement account without paying a penalty this year. Mm, that's awesome. how this year. And and they raised the loan amount. So the loan, the max used to be fifty thousand that you can loan that you can take a loan from a four hundred one k. The new max for this year is a hundred thousand. And that and, really just came out yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they uh, also put a freeze on RMDs this year. Okay. So if anybody's not familiar with an RMD is, an RMD is a required minimum distribution. So when you turn 70 and a half, have you that. have to start taking money from your uh, retirement accounts. But the reason why they froze the RMDs is that if you understand how investments work, you never want to take money out of an investment when the stock market is down because then you compound your loss. But if you have to take money out, then you have no, you have no choice. So what they're doing now is that they're giving seniors and older people option is to defer it, to not take any money out of the RMD for 2020. But also how that can affect younger people is that if you have a parent that passed away, if you have an older person that passed away and, and they left you a 401k, now what that is, that's called an inherited IRA. Yeah. And with inherited IRAs, you have to take RMDs on that as well. But this year, you don't have to take distributions on inherited IRAs either. So it's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of jewelry. And now it's a lot of stuff that was, that was it's 800 pages. That, yeah. that stimulus package is 800 pages. So it's a lot of stuff. We actually gonna be doing something on say, that very, very soon. We got something for you. Know, we, we ain't gonna leave you out there with what I'm telling y'all the stimulus. It's, it's important to educate yourself because there's so much stuff that's going on right now and, and not a lot of people have any information. Yeah. They, don't, they don't know what's I going on. I had no idea what an RMD was until, um, my dad actually had to withdraw from it. So mm. it, this is, oh, that was too much. That was a lot of jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Uh, Linda, you got the mic. You got to unmute yourself though. We unmute you. You got the floor is yours. And Donna, I did see your question. We're going to get that to Ian in a second. Her mic was messed up before. Linda, unmute yourself if you can. Hi. There you go. There you go. What's up, Linda? Yes. Um, I'm in for it for the long term, but I had a question. I was thinking that if there's any kind of stock that I can invest in to give me back a return where I can maybe pay off some debt. What time frame are you trying to pay the, pay the debt off in? Like I see that for um, student loans that they're not you know, charging any interest or anything like that. So I'm thinking if I can pay some of it or all of it off, that I'll have less of, you know, less that are gonna have interest on it later. So are there, are there other okay if we're going to talk about the, the removal of debt are there any other debts that you have that are higher like credit card debt that may be at 15 20. no it's that student loan <laughs> the balance is high yeah very high actually okay before you start to snatch money out of your 401k i mean i'm not upset at it but the thing is if you pay off the student loan debt what are you going to do at retirement you're going to end up being in the same predicament Oh, it wouldn't be retirement. For out of your 401k, which is your retirement fund. No, I don't, I, don't you, I don't want you to take the money out prematurely, pay it off, and then you're you have nothing working for you. So you have to chip away at the debt. Like there's no stock that I can recommend you that is guaranteed to go up a hundred percent, but you have to continue to follow your plan. And it may not be the answer that you want, but it's the mm -hmm. actual plan that I'm like following. So like if you can work more, please do so. If you get gains in the stock, that's great, but you don't want to liquidate most of your 401k to, to pay off debt, especially student loan, because you're going to- Oh, it would, be, it would be regular, regular savings. Okay, well, are you comfortable sharing what the balance is? Five. Five grand? Yeah. You can pay that off in the next year. You work full-time? No, part-time. You can pay it off in two years. Pay it off. Like just chip away at it, put a little bit more and keep it. And then when you end up paying it off, all the gains that you'll get from the market on the upside, mm -hmm. trust me. You, you, and I know some people argue with that, but the thing with liquidating all of your savings or cash to pay off debt, a lot of us that are black end up being up, being back broke and going back <laughs> into debt because we didn't have anything working for us while we were sleeping. You'll be able to pay it off in two years for sure. But I'll be happy to talk to you. Um, and like construct a plan for you for free if you send me a message, especially if you join uh, the club. Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Linda. So two things going on before we go to the next question. Yeah. Two, two two things going on because it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot going on right now. It's a lot going <laughs> I on. See it. Trying, I see it. Shout, multitask. shout out to all the earners on to multitask. Stock club. Ian, 
has dropped the price of the stock club 80% from 1600 to 297 um, and that's for the entire year. And he tells you which stocks to buy, mm -hmm. when to buy them, and when to sell them. The link is in the description of this video. I think it's only, I think that the offer is only good for like 48 hours, something like that. It's a limited time. And then also the Zoom. We get so many questions. We Zoom is our top priority because these are EYL University members. If you're interested in becoming an EYL University member, the link is in our bio mm -hmm. once again. And um, you go to EYLUniversity.com and you enter the code EYL149. Yep. And that's a 60% off uh, discount. And it's 149 for the entire year. That's entire everything. Year, and that's yeah. all of these Zoom calls. Um, we got a private real estate group on Facebook. That's going crazy right got, now. That also gives you pre-sale uh, access to all our live events. Workshops. Workshops. It's crazy. Yeah, so it's all about It's all about So the Stock Club, the Stock Club is phenomenal. Like I said, when Ian told me about the Stock Club, I was just, I was thrilled about it because it's like, you know, a lot of people, how many people can you actually give advice to, right? Like personal advice. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of difficult. But it's like, okay, now if 100 people sign up, now you can give 100 people advice in lump sum as opposed to like, okay, this person is this, this person is that. So, yeah, man, it's a lot. It's a lot going on right now, and it's a lot of money to be made. Yeah, we appreciate that. A lot, of, a lot of people's going to make a lot of money. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Um, unfortunately, the, ma the vast majority of people won't. Yeah. But a select few will. Yeah. We, have, we have a question? We got a, we got a question from Donna. I'm going to get to that question right now. Uh, she said her mic wasn't working. She had a question for Ian. She was wondering if he heard of the three bar play trading strategy. If so, uh, what are your thoughts on it? I've heard of it. Um, trading is a whole different. And if you want to have some technical trading talk, we can. If you are trading a three bar play, you have to make sure that you're following. So if you're waiting on a third bar to short, you have to make sure, A, you know what your target is that you're going for. But you have to tell me if you're looking at like a short, like if you're intraday trading or you're doing long term, but make sure you know the direction because whether you're doing doji, um, spinning tops, hammers, any of that, none of that matters if you get the direction wrong. So you can have three bullish engulfing candles back to back to back. But if you, if you are downward facing, you're going to get your head knocked off. So before <laughs> you land on a strategy, Make sure you know direction first. I don't care how cute your Ferrari is. If you're driving down the wrong side of traffic, you are going to get killed. That's Yo, the, that first, that the first part of that. I was like, this sounds like foreign lane. I know YouTube, like, that's a foreign lane she's talking about. That's why you got to join the club, y'all. Somebody said 298, you, you, you tell us um, for the entire year, you tell us for stocks to get in and out of. Yes, but this isn't a day trading. You're it's telling them. It's long term investing. It's long term investing. And it's a few stocks every single month that you can put money into that yep. you can grow generational wealth over the course of time. We're not we're not selling any get rich quick schemes nope, here. No, we're here for that. We're not here for that. We're here to educate people. And Ian is long term. You're long term investor. You do short term trading, but you said you yep. told me the first time I spoke to you, like you're more focused on long term investing. Like that's what people. You have to have the money work for you. I mean, because even with the short term investing, that's still a job. You're trading time for money. I don't care how much money it is, but you when you're having the money work for you, it helps a hell of a lot. It helps a lot. We got a question, uh, Zoom question. Daniel, the floor is yours. You got to unmute yourself though, bro. Daniel, how are you? I'm good, guys. How you doing? Good, brother. How are you doing? Yeah, I had a few questions. I think that's why you unmuted me. Um, my first question was, um, what did you think about the company called Boingo Wireless? Because um, I, I looked up, they said that they're possibly going to get bought out. I just want to know, is, is that a good strategy for companies possibly getting bought out if you invest before they get bought out? What's the ticker? Um, I think it's under $10. What's the uh, uh, ticker symbol? Uh, give me a second. And questions like that, I'm happy to answer. Like um, For sure, like when we do our monthly call, I'll be happy, happy to answer it for you. <laughs> Uh, if it's right. under ten, I don't yeah. love it. I think I think your I think your site might be crashing because the link is definitely in there and it's working. So I don't know. Some people said the link is not working, but it's definitely working. So if anybody can't have the link for whatever yeah. reason, DM Ernie or DM Ian. And, yeah, and, yeah. And, uh, and I'll, I'll put it in my bio as well. Yeah, we'll send it. We'll send it to you. But um, yeah, the link is up. Um, it's up there. It's in the description of this video. So if you're having a hard time accessing that, and just um, DM, either DM us or DM Ian. 
We'll get it over to him and then um, we'll send, send you the link for that. No, no, no. All right, the ticker is Wi Fi. Okay. Well, what, w -I -F -I. Off, off top, what's the all time high? All time high was 25.98. Mm, I don't love it at that. I don't love it at that. If they get acquired, maybe, but any stock that starts to slide down too much and it's half the value, I don't, I don't love it. I don't love it. Okay. I don't mean to bust your bubble, but you can hit me with the next question you got. All right, the next question, we were talking about Chinese companies. Um, what do you think about SoftBank? I like it. I like it. It has potential. Um, there are some complications that could be there, but I do like it. There's a few companies in China that that can be all-stars. That could be potentially um, one of them. And also, if you DM me, like, I'll give you a better breakdown because um, I don't want to go, like, too technical into, like, charting and, uh, and that on here. But that one's good. The, the first wireless company I will leave alone. Okay. And last question for now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got a, a lot of questions since I I'm watching. Guys, yeah, yeah, I'm on. I'm on there. I'm on there. Um, no, I know. I'm saying. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my next question is, how do they determine like the values? Because I'm looking at like Apple, where the value is at two fifty four, but then you look at Chipotle, it's like almost like six something. I think it was. Mm -hmm. Like, how do they determine those values? Um, the true value of Apple, well, if they wouldn't have did the stock split, it would be 2000 something. So Chipotle hasn't went through a stock split yet. Um, and I don't want to get too technical, but just they made Apple affordable for the average investor. Cause in 2010, Apple was at 500, 600 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then they did the split to make the price more affordable. At some point, Tesla may do the same thing. So that's why Chipotle technically is valued at that right now. Um, and Apple is quote unquote lower, but it's because of the stock split. Do you, okay. Do you, do you, yeah, thank you, Daniel. Appreciate it. Do you believe in stock split? Because Warren Buffett, he he doesn't believe in splitting the stock. That's why he got um, Berkshire Hathaway B. He's a strong disbeliever in in splitting stock. How, how much is Berkshire Hathaway A right now? Like, oh, man, it's um, astronomical price. Yeah, it's it's maybe thirty thousand, forty thousand in that in that range. I mean, so. A, from a value perspective, sitting in this chair, I wouldn't want to devalue it either. I wouldn't want to split it up either. But from a retail investor perspective, yeah, I mean, I would love if Tesla was, you know, 58 bucks opposed to where it is now. Um, but, but from an ownership standpoint, I get it. I get it. I remember trying to teach kids about stock splits. And the best way to explain it was like, listen, if you had one share of a stock, right? And then that's, that's, that stock splits. 10 to one for every one share you get an extra 10 so now you have 11 like that was the simplest way i could explain it um is there any other way that you could like because I, I know some people like what is a stock split that's the easiest way to to probably break it down and even with definitions people ask like what can i read what can i learn like you can go on Vestipedia and get all the terms but knowing the terms will not help you perform better in the market and i know it's a weird thing because we're taught in school the more you know the better but it's kind of like hooping, like you don't know the definition of everything. And most players today don't even know like players from 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so just focus on what you need to do going forward in order to be able to perform at a high level. But yeah, I think that's a great explanation. Somebody said, why does this look like an 80s film? Chill, you gotta chill, you gotta chill. You gotta chill. <laughs> Yo, yeah, they said, you know, <laughs> they, they, they need uh, some clarification. This is an anonymous uh, EYL member. Uh, they want to know your strategy for long-term investing is hold four stocks only and keep investing in those stocks only. Is that correct? Is that a strategy? Ideally. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to add a fifth or a sixth and you want to hedge with gold or bonds, you can do that as well. Um, but you need fewer companies than more. Like okay. you, if you have 29 companies in a portfolio, you made your own mutual fund. 12 are going to be good, 13 are going to be bad, and then you end up with the same 6 or 7% return, opposed to if you did an index and two tech. The technology stocks are going to give you growth. The bonds are going to hedge. So if the market slides down, at least the bonds will shoot up, and it offsets that. But if you have 25 companies, you're doing gold, silver, platinum, two trash weed companies, um, a penny stock, like your portfolio is going to be all over the place. So I said, uh, shout, shout out to Dan. I'm going to get this. He didn't access one. Uh, since we were talking about Chinese companies, what's your thoughts on SoftBank? I, I, I like it. I like it. 
Yo, Daniel, you on point, man. Shout out to you. Yeah, you, you've been putting in some work. He came ready. <laughs> I oh, like when people come ask so many questions. This, this is actually a good point. Let's go to YouTube real quick. Live Nation. Live Nation. So I'm going to get my point of view on Live Nation because I feel like Live Nation. We had a debate about this. Yeah, because okay. Troy, me, I, I like I like, I like like layups. Like if this is using sports, I like layups, right? Yeah. I don't want to take threes, even jump shots. I like layups. Yeah. So when I saw Boeing at 72% lower than what it usually, what it was three months ago, yeah. and it's Boeing and it makes parts of the United States government, to me, that's a layup, right? And I brought it and it almost doubled. In yep. mm -hmm. It went from 97 to a high of 60, 160. Um, so, but Live Nation, I feel like it's kind of in that cruise ship lane where you don't have to go to live events, A. Yep. Like nobody has to go to a concert, right? Yep. It's, it's a luxury if you really think about it. And for the foreseeable future with this social distancing thing, even when we get back to being a normal society, it's still going to be things that's not going to be like, Going yeah. to concerts might not happen for a while. Like, yeah. it might not happen for a while. So I'm not a strong believer in Live Nation because I feel like they're not a necessity. Long term, they're probably turned, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Yeah. Troy, Troy I, I, So I, I go from the theory of always investing yourself, right? So like, he's very opposite of me. Like, I love going to live events. I go to as many concerts as I can. Okay. So from that standpoint, I'm already feeding Live Nation, so I might as well invest in it. But number two was, I know what brings people together, right? Music. That's why D Nice can have 100,000 people watching him perform. Music brings people together. So once we are able to join back together, first it'll be sports and it'll be concerts, right? Because people love going and hearing music. The other part is that all these shows at the first two quarters of this year are canceled. So on the back end, right, the last two quarters of the year, all those concerts and all these shows and Live Nation tickets, they're going to have to make these up. So I feel like it's going to be an influx in that market. now. That's just my opinion. Yeah. From, uh, from we're, we're really in a recession. It took about four years for everything to get back to normal for black people. So households that were hit the hardest, when they were comfortable spending again, it was about three to four years. And it'd probably be the same. Because everything now looks like a luxury. Even driving is like, <laughs> yeah, I need to hold I'm on to every dollar. To go. <laughs> I can't. And then like we, when we start talking about reserves, the numbers I used to hear from people would sound crazy. Like, so a guy, uh, Matt Monero told me three years ago, he's like, you need 60 months of reserves. I was like, you're crazy. Then here we are. And I'm like, a lot of businesses are like going under and being crushed. So it's really gonna be maybe a three, four year period before. And when we mean normal, I really just mean mismanagement of money when we spend however we want to. So that yeah. may take the next two years, people are gonna be very cautious about how they spend. Like even so now from a business standpoint, when people are doing business with me, normally when they wouldn't call, even for a small transaction, they want to talk to me a few times before they even buy. So they make sure that their money isn't, is going to a place where it's safe and secure. Five months ago, they weren't doing that. They were just spending, like people would buy courses and books and wouldn't even do anything with them. Now they're like, hey man, can I talk to you for 20 minutes and make sure, I'm like, I get it, I get it. So it'll probably be four years before we get back to that same kind of, so, so you're not bullish. On, you're not bullish on Live Nation. No, I'm not. Not at this moment. I'm not. If anybody, Live Nation, they um, they they do concerts. They do live events. They do. They're like the number one company for that, right? Yeah, Live Nation. They, they, yeah, yeah. Live, live Nation AG. Obviously, they just run a monopoly with that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's good. Though. I mean, it's funny you said that because I remember you said that um, the last live we did. 60 month of reserves. I remember one of the best uh, pieces of advice that uh, Shadi gave me was like, look, you gotta have six months of reserves. And I was like, yo, that's probably the best advice that he's ever gave me financially. Cause I took that literally like, look, if I don't have six months in the bank, I, I won't be able to survive. And right now, like that advice is holding true, right? Holding true, yeah. And if, months, you know this from three, guys, you, know, you know this from being around people with more money, the conversations and what they say in, in public is way different than what they say in private. Like I had a guy tell me like, until you get to 4 million net, he's like, you're, you're nowhere near freedom. Mm. Nowhere near freedom. Like freedom price. Play, because it's like, if things stopped for you and you got hurt, injured, debilitated, even if you have insurance, insurance is not gonna pay you what they owe you. So could you sustain your life for two, three, four years, especially in our household. And we're all going through it now. 
cousins are calling more, aunties are calling more. Hey man, can I, I'm having friends just text like, I'm having conversations like, I'll pay you to not go to work so you don't catch Corona. Hmm. Wow. Literally, like I'm having to cash app and PayPal money so they don't risk their life. Yeah, and it's like, it's like uh, that's the next level talk right there. That's, that's, that's really cloth talk. And it's like, I, I remember one, somebody told me, um, you know, a big time real estate developer in New York City. And he was like, you know, I'm on my way to five. He's like, five million is my number. Five million, that's fuck you money. Like, I can't yeah. really have, I can't say fuck you unless I got five million. Five million, yep. Because realistically, like what Meek Mill said, he said 100,000, that ain't real money. That's yeah. bill money. That's bill money. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Seagull said it first. Yeah, yeah. but I'm just I saying. It sounds like, crazy until you get the 100. That's, that's, yeah. And that I sounds post- crazy, you know, but it's like, you're like, worst possible case scenario. And it's like, you could run through money and you see like a lot of athletes go broke, right? Athletes, entertainers, they go broke all the time. And it's yep. like, especially with the athletes, because it's like you play and then you go from making $5 million a year to nothing yeah. overnight, mm-hmm. yep. unless unless you get a job at ESPN. Would, so it's like, right. now now you still got your expenses though, right? Like you still got your, your day-to-day expenses. And like- yeah, you have you kids, you got yeah, I just I just saw Wale say that he was like, "Yo, I, I've lost three hundred thousand dollars in shows." Speaking of Live Nation, he's lost three hundred thousand in shows. Well, how many months can you consistently lose three hundred thousand in shows before it's an issue? Financial crisis, right? You know what I'm saying? There's, there is no insurance. There's no. And everybody union. always kills me for the no debt thing and debt is good. It's like, yeah, until now, things always go wrong where you never plan them to. Like, do you ever notice when you was broke, your car would always break down? Emergencies would always happen. And then when you have a cushion, less drama happens. It's like, if you go five, six months, and I feel bad for the musicians, because it's like, you're getting pennies on Spotify, you're getting mm-hmm. pennies on YouTube, you can't do shows, and you still got to deal with the politics. And then you go to then you go to Instagram and do live concerts for free. For free. <laughs> Just and it's like, Man. You know what, times like this really um, puts things in perspective, because I was talking to somebody today that works in fashion, and, um, you know, they was telling me, like, how the fashion industry is just getting decimated right now. And they like, yes. who, who in their right mind is thinking about buying a pair of Yeezys right now? You'd be a stupid, you'd be a fool. Like, yeah, I, I just, I talked to a guy, off. yeah, I talked to a guy today, maybe at three o'clock central. He said his friend had bought his wife a Hermes bag in Paris last year. He said he can't sell it in New York right now for 7000 Who wants it? He's like, <laughs> it, it means... Nothing. Like, yeah. Hermes bag not really worth forty with thirty grand cash in it. But lemon mean nothing right now. You can't. Where you gonna go? Nothing. You can't go anywhere. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> going to see it. it. Doesn't matter. Nice. Driveway stunning. Driveway stunning. Kyle, I see your hands raised over in our Zoom chat. Shout out to all of our earners that are in EY University. Kyle, the floor is yours. You gotta unmute yourself though, bro. There you go. What's up, Kyle? Yeah. What's up, guys? Um. Yeah, I spoke to Ian briefly earlier because I'm I've been messaging him from the UK. Uh, oh my God! Uh, yeah. First and foremost, shout out to London. Shout out to all our supporters in London. We have a birthday <laughs> in the UK, so big up yeah. yourself. Shout out to London. Yeah, it's two AM right now, so um, I stayed up just to listen to the to these gems that you're all dropping. Thank um, you. Yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. so. I'm, I'm, I'm literally just trying to start out now. So I've got some cash to invest. Um, and I'm just, I'm trying to walk before I can run. So I'm taking Ian's advice. Um, I'm going to put together a little retirement portfolio and then hopefully start intraday trading. Um, so what I was going to say is for the index funds. Um, you can tell us to the footy. Yeah, that's what I was going to talk to you about. Do you, do you do you invest on the FTSE at all? I don't personally, but if in your native country, same thing for those that live in Australia, you can tie it to your to your major market. Um, yeah, just send me a note, and I'll tell you which ones and like what platform you can use to do it. Um, okay. And, and you'll okay. Be golden. You'll be golden. Okay. Because yeah, I, I, do I need to look at the yield? Because a couple of days ago, I was reading a piece. The yield on the FTSE seemed to be. Well, it was it was it was six percent, and um, I think on the S and P was like I think it averaged like four point something percent. Is that is that correct? You're you're in a range. You're in a range. I mean, now the entire because all the markets are tied together. Okay. Man, the, the entire world is in, excuse my language, like in a shitstorm. 
No, that's so cool. The, the best. No, I, 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 I'd rather I'd rather keep it real, trust me. So, yeah. uh, so <laughs> like the, the the biggest issue is in times like this, people sit out and don't do anything and don't buy quality because it's too hot. And I know we all want a stock that we can get for ten or fifteen bucks, and hopefully it goes to one fifty. It does not happen, really. Even if you go look back and look at Apple, and you see Apple was at a dollar, it was at ten, and then it went up uh, before the split. Man, it well, took this is this twenty years to, to do that. So I, I'll guide you through and tell you which ones you should invest in. There's some good companies over there that you can invest in that have some. Yeah. Good well, I was hoping. Okay, so just just I, I don't want to take up too much time. But, um, I know you got a lot of people probably asking no, questions. Two a.m. But... Man, we all got time, bro. It's two a.m. <laughs> okay, I, I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, basically, at the moment, as a as a day job, I PT. I'm a personal trainer. Okay. So by the time I finish. Uh, well, not finished, but I'm normally my mornings are busy. I work till lunch, have a few hours off, then I'm back in the evening. So the hours that I'm off is when the, your market's open, uh, the U.S. market. So I'm hoping to eventually day trade on the U.S. markets. Um, and, <laughs> you know, I lost my track of thought now because it's, it's so late. I've lost my track of thought. I don't know where I was going with that. You good, bro. You good. You good. <laughs> yeah, you know. This is like late night. Late night with EYL. Yeah, yeah, that's my new sure, channel. Late make night sure, with EYL. Make sure you put <laughs> a certain amount of money to go long term first before yeah. you start day trading because it's going to take a learning curve. And why? Well, okay, well, you'll be able so, to have their money work for you. So I kind of feel like a couple of weeks ago I was looking at the price of, of some of the some of the big stocks like Apple and stuff, and they were kind of like I think Apple went drop to like two two four, and I kept telling myself, you know what, it's going to slide a little bit more. Just wait, just wait before. I throw a chunk of money at it and obviously it's climbing now. So in your opinion, this is, is it going to... Yeah, okay. And I'm related to you in fitness. Should your client look to do 60 sets of bench press in one day or do five sets a day for six days? Yeah, it's... Uh, Same thing. Consistency, consistency, yeah. Buy every month. Because what you need yeah. is... A and I'm going to be like... So the first hurdle you want to get over is one share. Okay. And you want to get to a hundred. Yeah. Be real. Nobody's really into the game until you get a thousand. When you okay. get them, the fuck you money, all that, like you need to be at 10,000 shares. Yeah. What helps us get there is time. So the reason why I'm so passionate about it, being black, nobody told me this shit until it was too late. And then when my teacher did, it was in passing. But yeah. I look. Yeah. My teacher was telling me in 94 to buy IBM. IBM went up from 94 to 2000. I should have listened. I didn't. That just like 10 grand, if I would have convinced my dad and he would have kept 80% of the money, nevertheless, shout out to my pops. <laughs> that would have been at least 80 or $90,000 for the household. I'm telling you 80 or 90,000 when I was 15, 16, 17 would have been like 20 million to me. Yeah, this is crazy. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. One share, then a hundred, then get to a thousand, then you want to strive to ten thousand. But if I come in your gym and I'm like, bro, I'm out of shape, let me do 200 sets of lap pull down, you'll be like, get the fuck out of my gym and you're gonna die. You can't wait. Yeah. The timing part is even for someone who trades for a living like me, it's tough to even time consistency. Like, please, like if you pay your bills every month, investing should be the first bill that you pay. Because no, if you call any company and say, "Hey, man, let me get three, four thousand, I'm hurting," they're not doing it. They're not doing okay. it. Okay. Okay. So one, one last piece of advice, please, if you don't mind. Gotcha. Um, so I actually put the brakes on. I was, I was about to, to buy a property before, before everything went a little crazy. Okay. Um, so I own the house I live in. I've got one rental property. Okay. I was going to buy another rental property, and now I'm thinking. Do I split the money I've got between between going into the market long term and then all of the rest of it on short term investing once I'm ready, or do I still try and how, how the rental? Much euro could you get the rental on it, and would it be cash flow positive if you got it tomorrow? Sorry, that was breaking up. And say that again, please. Would it be cash flow positive if you got the rental property? The returns are good. I mean, interest rates are so low at the moment. My, okay, to break it down, so I could probably get mortgage payments at around um, two hundred pounds a month. 
and the rental properties will probably bring me in um, seven hundred and fifty pounds a month. So you're talking five fifty before taxes. Kyle, 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 I, I don't even mean to do this, but Kyle, this is this is what I want you to do. I want you yeah. to give us your IG, put your IG in the chat right here, and we're gonna yeah. get to you so we can answer all these questions. We're gonna we're gonna keep moving though, bro. We no, appreciate I appreciate you all. Okay. And um, I, I was I wouldn't say good night, but good morning, bro. <laughs> I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, bro, shoot us your IG, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Salute, salute to UK. Salute to the good people of UK, London, Manchester, Oxford, the whole. Yeah, shout out to the people that call me from the Netherlands, Afghanistan, and London after the interview. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. Guys, it's all over, man. EYL is lit right now. This is this is the best. Instagram is officially dead. <laughs> it's over for Instagram. These lives are way better. These lives are way better than Instagram lives. They're way more interactive. We get to Zoom. We get to do Zoom with our um, EYL university members yeah, man. The, the, the regular it's questions. been an hour we don't get cut off we don't gotta worry about yeah we don't gotta worry about questions. getting cut off it's a whole vibe man instagram we, we got two platforms here shout out to everybody that's on youtube that's tuning in yeah, yeah it's, we it's, rocking with y'all youtube is on fire right now so all right we're gonna get a couple more que a couple more questions this is a um, good one this is a good one but before before, before yeah, yeah. for um so all right, we gotta reiterate this so the zoom Zoom questions have first priority because mm -hmm. those are the EYL University members. If you're interested in joining EYL, we have a code promotion, yep. EYL149. 149. Go to leisure.com or EYL University, .com. either or, and enter the promo code. But bigger than that tonight yeah. is that Ian was kind enough to- Breaking news his, alert. His stock club, he's dropping the price 80% to 297 for the entire year. And he pretty much tells you Every month, a couple of stocks to buy, mm -hmm. um, which price point to buy them at, mm -hmm. and which price to sell it at. Yep. Like, how how simple do you have yeah. to have it? For <laughs> 297 um, all of the information is in the description of this video. Yeah, the so I'm like, a lot of people are asking, yo, if I, this is my first time investing, how do I do it? We are literally telling you right now how to do it. He's going to tell you the ones I'm to invest. I'm cooking a food for you, giving it to you. <laughs> Serving on a plate, putting it in a spoon and putting it in your mouth, man, it's easy. And and also, um, the first two hundred people enter a raffle for a flat screen TV. Yeah, so I'm gonna give away a flat screen TV, Apple TV, and iPad Mini for the first uh, for the first five. Now, now you said that too fast, bro. Say that again. You said we're giving away a TV, an Apple TV. TV. So I'm gonna give a fifty five inch away and raffle random selected an Apple TV. And then I'm also gonna give away an iPad mini. And then for the first, so that's for the first 500 people, you'll be entered into the raffle. And as a bonus, I'm gonna also tell you what 5G stocks I like for the next 10 years. So when 5G becomes a boom, you'll you'll get those okay. picks as well. you get those picks as well. So if you guys go click the link, watch the video. I got a couple surprise bonuses in there that, man, that, that are absolutely amazing. But yeah, I'm gonna give away three physical gifts. Yeah. As, as and, it, and, and this, this this will be archived um to people to ask it's just when we finish the live it takes like an hour for it to upload yeah, on yeah, youtube yeah. but don't worry it will be archived so if you if you missed any part of it you can go back and watch it at your convenience and we got two we got two people we um that somebody is going to sponsor so here's what we want you to do um i want you to email us at info at earnyourleisure.com give us your name um, and then we're just gonna randomly pick two people. We got somebody that is willing to sponsor to be a part of the, the, the stock club. So thank you to, to our sponsor, man, that's dope. Ian, I got a question. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh. Uh, the sponsor is only for EYL University, University members. members. Right, right, right. So don't email us. We're gonna pick two EYL University correct, members. Correct, 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 correct. So just recant, recant that statement. Yeah, yeah, no. Sorry guys. E EYL University. So oh. all our earners on EYL University is like, Countless of y'all. Yeah. Y'all hit us up. And, and I'll tell everyone listening, most of my stuff is super high ticket. So there's not a sales gimmick. We're not going to do this again. I'm going to be real with you. So if you want to so take advantage of it, get it now. Because if you get it from me after, you're going to pay the 129 a month. So if you want to pay more, I'm happy to take more from you. But if you want a deal, <laughs> get it at 297 and you'll be able to get a chance to get some bonuses too. And we got to work on some, can we, we, we talk, we got to talk again about some content. Um, some ongoing content, maybe a podcast, perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that post you put on Instagram. It got a lot of um, 
yeses. Yeah, it was, it was interesting to see that people want, cause I went like on like my little Kanye Twitter rant and I gave away 300 gems on Twitter and it did well. And I'm like, okay. And then I'm like, well, you, what you guys want to hear? Cause I think there's so much content. I'm like, if I'll break them up into five minute pieces and give the analogies and tell you what to do. I mean, I thought it would get like 50 comments and the comments came in. I'm like, okay. So what's, 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 what's a few um, gems out of the 300 that you gave away on Twitter? Just uh, from, from a short term perspective in trading, like the biggest piece of advice is take one trade and walk away. Like imagine if Dan Tony came to you and was like, bruh, all I need you to do is get one layup. I'm gonna give you $9 million a year. <laughs> You'll be like, I'm moving to Houston tomorrow. I don't care if my ACL is torn. I'm gonna get this one bucket. Then we start trading and then people will take 14. Like I personally have a friend that lost like 120 in the last 25 days. And I'm like, bruh, you're setting money on, why don't you just take one and hit? But it's a discipline thing. Um, so the, the, the deal, how long is the deal running for? 48 hours. You guys better take advantage of it. Cause like, 48 hours. Yeah. 48 hours. 48 yeah. hours. That's it. Flash sale. <laughs> Black okay. Friday. Came early. Yep. Came early. So for Tuesday. those of you who know me, I believe in higher price, higher value. If you do a one-on-one -on -one consult with me, it's a thousand bucks an hour. So you guys are gonna give me every month on the call. And you know, like I give from the heart. So I'll be on with you guys for an hour or two, but like my team snatches me off the zone because I'll chat, chat with y'all for two, three hours. Um, so nah, take I was on it. You want to deal, do it. Two Saturdays, two Saturdays ago, you, you opened it up, man. You was on it for three hours, like legit. I was now like, this guy going in. Minutes. Right, it was supposed to be like a 30 minute course. I'm like, yo, we on here for th three hours. I was in there like, yo, He's going in right now. Shout out to oh, shout yeah, out to yeah, yeah, well, we opened up the live trading room this morning too. So like they got a chance to see me like call out the spots in real time, hear my students do what like it's no theory. It's no theory. They got to see it in real time too. So if you guys want to deal, take advantage of it. We'll be open 48 hours. 48 hours, sales. Yeah, shout out to MG the mortgage guy. He heads up our um, we got a private real estate group on Facebook. You should have a private Facebook group. You ever think mm. about that? But well, we're going to do it for those who join this club. Ah. Uh, well, there you have it. <laughs> there you have it. Yep. The private Facebook groups is lit. Lit. Super lit. Somebody had a retirement question that I wanted to ask before we, um, like I said, I just wanted to get to a few more questions. Um, damn, that was so, so many. Yeah. Somebody asked, I'm, I'm looking at, um, somebody asked, how do you, do you think uh, these major retailers, uh, Nordstrom, uh, Macy's, are one of these big time retailers not going to make it out of this? Any of the low price ones. So Macy's may be in trouble um, in a recession. And it's one of the reasons why I tell business owners it's better to target the top tier. Cause if you have any pullback, cause your prices and services are priced higher, you will have a little bit more money to sustain you. If you're, mm -hmm. if you're competing based on price and we're seeing businesses, same thing personally, most people don't have six months worth of reserves. Most businesses don't either. Most businesses have net 45. And that's why you see Two months, things slow down, they're wrapping up. It's um, like Cheesecake Factory. We're not paying. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory told 246 locations yes. that they will not be able to pay rent this month. Yeah. They, don't have two, they don't have two weeks of reserves. That is crazy. For yeah. all that overhead and all the traffic that they get, as long as they've been in business, but now you get to see who is really managing and having good money principles. And yeah. Mason said, I think that they're announcing that they're further on all their employees. I'm just like, this is... This is two weeks. Yeah. Does someone in the UK need to sign uh, Can they sign up? You international people? Absolutely. Yeah, because we got a lot of support in London. And uh, once again, I can't say that enough. We appreciate Canada, all the, the, the entire world, but especially yeah. Canada. West and, Indies. And, and the UK. Uh, yeah, the Caribbean. We have you in the Caribbean, Africa. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys, man, all over the world. Shout out to Ernest Worldwide. Uh, can we take like two more questions? I want to do uh, so Business Insider said that Marriott, one of the stocks that we should definitely look into. I read that report today. Somebody's asking here, what's your thoughts on Marriott? Because they're about to furlough their employees. Well, we talked about it on the last YouTube live we did. Marriott's a good one. They'll, they'll sustain. Them and Hilton, they'll sustain. If you want to know what price you're getting, you can join the club. I'll tell you exactly. <laughs> Mar Marriott will do well. I they'll think Hilton, Hilton will do well, too. Yep. Other than that, I wouldn't touch any other ones. Yeah. 
What's your thoughts on the on the um restaurant business? I wouldn't touch it with a ten foot pole. Stay in trouble. Stay in trouble. Yep, trouble. Because if you don't have any cash coming in, and who knows, like people that have gotten laid off, they're not going to come back. So now you have an issue of employment and. Now you have to source for good, so actual food. And now you have to market heavier to get people in. And you have to do more loss leaders. That's not a recipe I like. I think people should really, I, I'm not, this, this might sound crazy right now, but social distancing, do not be surprised if social distancing becomes normal. The new norm. Like, like the new norm where the restaurant capacity is 10 people. And like everybody was laughing at Amazon when they got the cashless grocery stores. Yep. But it's like, don't be surprised if sporting events don't have any fans. And they're gonna start. That's like, how it's gonna start. It's gonna be virtual concerts. Like this, because it's crazy. Because it's like when I went to Asia, I went to Asia three years ago, and everybody already wears face masks over there because of the pollution. Yep. And I was looking like this is crazy. Like. People was wearing face masks. New York City, people was walking down the street with face masks, and it's normal. Yep. And it's like a lot of these things. Pay attention to the to the. To, I say that to say the restaurant industry is in trouble. Big trouble. They're in trouble. Yep. Because that might not recover. Ordering Uber Eats might be might, might be the new restaurant. Having dinner parties and what they call yep. in Atlanta kickbacks. Like, <laughs> a lot of kickbacks. They might. Restaurants might not ever fully recover. This is just my thoughts. I'm not saying this is going to happen or not, yeah. but social distancing might become normal. Yeah, I had a conversation with, with a student, and he was just like, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I hope my they'll count my regents' uh, credits for next year. I'm thinking like, yo, they got, they're still worrying about getting credits. Like, how do they graduate now? Because the state mandates that you have... It's crazy, man. It's just a different time. New standards will be set. We've new never been to anything. Right. It's, it's just, worst it's just scenario, Yeah, worst case scenario, you have to plan for the worst. Like, and if I had went through the last recession and see, see how, like, so I had a marketing agency in the last recession. All of my clients were mortgage clients mm. in 2007, 2008. Mm. Lost all clients in one month. So when I'm talking financial devastation, like that's why my dad was like, told you. And I was in Atlanta too, so I was spending more than I should, going out Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then you go through something like that and it changes you. Cause you see things and then not all of your friends are spending less. And for those of us that are doing okay, these three weeks, you seen your bills go down a lot cause you're not going out to eat as much, not as many business dinners, you're not flying around as much. So you're pocketing maybe 1500, two grand we're going to have a new normal for at least two years. At least. Yeah, for the future, exactly. Until, yeah. until they get a vaccine, which they said is 18 months out, it's yeah. going to be some form of social distancing because it's not like this thing isn't going away. It's not yeah. going to go away and it's going to flare. It's going to become seasonal. So yeah. next winter, it's going to flare up again. It's, it'll probably go down during the summer. It's going to flare up again during the winter. Yeah. And somebody said, like, America's losing money, this, that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this, because what's going to happen is that people are going to adapt. Like we got a re we got an episode coming out about ghost restaurants. If anybody knows what ghost restaurants are, mm -hmm. that's huge. And industries like that in New York City and Boston, Chicago. So now a ghost restaurant with Uber Eats, you you don't you don't have to have a restaurant for Uber Eats. Mm. You can cook Chinese food in your home yep. and make a menu and make a website, and now you have a Chinese restaurant. Six so items. Guess guess what else you can do in that same kitchen? You can have a, a Thai restaurant. Yep. That's what a ghost restaurant is. So you can have five kitchens, five yep. restaurants in one kitchen. Awesome. Nobody, nobody knows where it's coming from. Yeah, nobody knows or cares for the most part. That's a whole lot of game right That's there. That's a whole lot That's of game. That's a whole lot of game right, right there. And, it's yeah, like, and the episode fire too. You got, you got to start to think outside the box. Just because something has been going the same way for 100 years, who's it's to say it completely changed? That's what Airbnb did. They completely changed it. Check the game. Uber completely changed it. Yeah, we got a question. Somebody just signed up. Shout out to Shauna K. I want to say that right. Shauna K. Got to make it the same. I appreciate you. Shauna, Shauna wants to know, um, she just signed up. She wants to know, is there a monthly minimum that they have to have to, in order to start investing in the stock club? No, so, so you pick. So if you have a little bit of money, start with $100 a month. If you have a lot more, start with 1000 If you're a baller, do 10000 a month. So business owners, put in more. Because now I tell every business owner, like even if your employees don't deliver, their customers and clients don't pay, there are going to be certain staple companies you can tie 
your money to that you'll be able to make money off of. But start small. Um, the number one reason people don't have money for retirement is not what they invest in. They just don't put enough in. They'll invest one time and then stop for 15 years and then be like, well, I think I have something in my 401k. Like you should know to the penny how much you have in your 401k and retirement accounts, whether you're doing it yourself or through a company. And once again, this is not, Ian's stock club is not day trading. It's nope. to give you solid, a few solid um, stock picks every single month for one year. And he tells you entry points, with what point, what price point to buy that and what price point to sell that. But this is long term. Like I said earlier, this is not a get rich quick scheme. It's to help beginning investors learn how yeah. to actually invest, yep. learn how to evaluate companies and to actually become better. Like yeah, you, you got to get out of that mentality of like home runs, right? It's about building, you build a pyramid one brick at a time. Yeah, absolutely. And wealth is no different. Because yeah. everyone says, well, I wish I invested more in a recession. And here we are now and everyone's sitting on the sideline. It's like buy every month. It should be the top priority for most people is not. And buy, buy every dollar cost averaging. And yeah. it's like that. That's the, that's the one great thing about a 401k is that it forces people. So if anybody's not familiar with dollar cost averaging, it's like, stop trying to time the stock market. Nobody is tempting, but it's very difficult to do. It's almost mm -hmm. impossible, right? So dollar cost averaging is you're putting money, discipline amount every single month. So you're buying Apple every single month. Now you're going to buy high, you're going to buy low, but your dollar cost averaging, and then now you're buying at an even price over the course of time. That's been scientifically proven. It's not just my opinion. They've done mm -hmm. models on this. Scientifically proven, 97% of the time has been trying to time the market. So if you put money in monthly on a disciplined approach, right. you will end up with more money over the course of time than if you just yeah. dump a lump sum of money in because it's hard to predict when to put the money in. Yeah, It's like you don't have a crystal ball. No one does. Exactly. Yeah, Sean, well, Sean it's even better thing. if you automate it. And yes, she's Jamaican. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to all the Shana K's, the Torians, the Shellyans, all of the Jamaican names. I love y'all. So we gotta wrap it up. One more question or it's over. Um maybe you take one more. One more. This is the last one. Zoom, can we do Zoom? Uh let's see. Let's see what we got. Zoom, we're gonna give you the first rights on this. And I also put the link in my bio. So if you guys go, go to my page. And you want it because you couldn't get it earlier. It's in my bio as well. And I'll keep it up for 48 hours. Because that's not Lowe's. Oh, you want to do this? You want to do Jose? Oh, you want to do Lowe's? Lowe's? The Lowe's question. Where'd it go? Right there. Okay. Oh, uh, somebody, uh, Linda, she said, how about Hasbro and Lowe's? Um, Hasbro, I have to look at. I don't, that hasn't been on my watch list in a while. But if you send me a DM, um, I'll tell you what I think about it. And especially if you join the stock club, I'll tell you what price to get in or if you should stay away. Um, Lowe's is good. I like Home Depot a little bit better, but Lowe's is good. Yeah, it's a good company. Home Depot is definitely a good one. Yeah. So my, so my watch list, Home Depot's yeah. on my watch Home list. Home Depot is a little bit stronger. Home Depot. But, but it's kind of like Apple or Microsoft. Like if you do both, you, you'll be, you'll be fine. Walmart. I think Walmart's going to have a reason. Walmart's going to be great. Amazon. Uh, Amazon's expensive, but it's better to pay for quality. Same yeah. thing. That's, that's, that's a fact. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to Cordell. He just he said he just joined uh, Red Panda. Shout out to him. Thank you, so, Cordell. I appreciate you. Yeah. All right. So before we wrap this up, we want to remind people again. Ian is doing a um, forty-eight hour sale on his on his um, stock club, eighty percent discount from almost sixteen hundred dollars a month to two ninety seven for three months. Um, but that includes a whole year. Yeah. So two ninety seven for the entire year. Yep. Um, and he tells you a few stocks to buy every single month, which stock, what price point to buy it at, and which price point to sell it at. Um, and all of the information is on the description of this YouTube. How you find a description is that you hit the arrow down and you just read it. Um, <laughs> so all the links is there. We're gonna archive this video. And then once again, shout out to all the EYL University members. Those are the Zoom people. They get the first rights to ask questions. And EYL University, we have, private real estate group, yep. access to the workshops that we do live, okay. webinars that we do like this. All webinars aren't open to the public, so much is private. Yeah. Um, they get discounts on merch, they get transcripts from the episodes. Yeah. They get a variety of different things. Yeah. So that is also on sale as well. Absolutely. $149 for the entire year. It's like, what is that? It's like- $13, $14, what is that? A month, right? A month, yeah. Like $13 a month. So 
The code for that is EYL149. Yep. Um, go to earnyourleisure.com or EYLUniversity.com. Mm -hmm. All the information is, is in the, the link as well. And also for Indian Stock Club, the first 500 people that sign up into the raffle for 55 inch TV. 55 inch TV. Yep. Apple, Apple TV. TV. Apple. iPad mini. iPad. iPad mini. Ian, it's <laughs> been it's been a pleasure, brother. Market Mondays uh, with Ian. What up? Yeah, we might have to do this Market Monday. Uh, I like the sound of that. Market we're gonna, Mondays. We're gonna, we're gonna work on the podcast. We gotta work on we're some magic. Up, man. I see you. You know your followers is, is through the roof right now. You you're hot. <laughs> you're hot right now, man. He put on a suit even though he ain't going nowhere. Nah, I like the professional, <laughs> the professional look. You gotta gotta keep it professional. That's my guy right there. Yeah, man. It's always a pleasure, bro. Thank you. You guys have a good one, everyone listening in. I appreciate you so much. Uh, please join the club because I normally don't do anything on discount like this. So join. I'll be sure to take good care of you. And I need the assets of a liability shirt. Anyway. Right, I got you. We got you. Send me a, actually. Text actually, me, yeah. Text, put it in the chat. Text me, text me your address. I'm a, okay. I, I, I care package for you. And uh, once again, thank you because you're you're only doing this for earn your leisure. It's exclusive yep. for earn your leisure. Yep. Uh, only you guys. Platforms. And that's one of the things about the relationship that we develop with our alumni is that you know they they do cool things like this and. Um, it's really dope to build a relationship and build a community yeah. where we can offer these kind of things to our community. So thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Relationship equity, y'all. Uh, yeah, it's we, important. And we definitely gonna get some merch to you for sure. Yeah, we got a whole box here, man. I appreciate it. All right, yeah, bro. Good one. So, Yo, everyone have a good night, y'all. We love y'all. Peace. Until next time, Thursday. We're doing it. We're doing this on Thursday. We're gonna be doing about Hold on, Thursday. Uh, Andy, yeah. Thursday's Andy. a big one. Thursday's a big one. Thursday we have Miss Business, our first ever guest, first ever alumni. Yep. She's going to be talking about all of the updates in the stimulus package, everything you need to know about um, how to apply for money for small business loans, mm -hmm. what it means for a retirement account. People want to know when they get their stimulus checks, stimulus checks, all the all um, the things that go to it, taxes, yep. or everything that she's going to break down the stimulus package bill, which is eight hundred pages. And that's going to be crazy. So if you got any questions about if you're a small business owner, I got questions. If, you, if you're trying to get a loan, anything like that, tune in Thursday at 8 o'clock. That's going to be and good And tomorrow we got a big episode. Ooh. We got a big, big, big <laughs> episode. Shout out to Kwame. Um, and that's going to be all things digital tech. We go into the tech world. Yeah. We talking about Africa as well. Shout out to every, all of everybody from Africa. Um, and that's going to be talking about all kinds of different stuff, VCs. And um, the just, real estate game in Africa. Just a brilliant mind. Shout out to everybody in, in Ghana. Yeah. Uh, the year of return is one of the topics we're going to talk about on there. So definitely check that one out, man. That, yeah, was, that, was, that was inspirational. That episode comes out tomorrow. So, um, yeah, tell a friend to tell a friend. Yeah, yeah. Um, this video will be saved. Just give it an hour to, um, you know, upload on YouTube. And Thursday, we'll see you guys back. YouTube Live. Peace. Yep.